Hey guys, and welcome to today's video on how to find working onion links. If you're someone who values privacy and security like me, you've probably heard of Tor and the dark web. However, finding working onion links can be quite a challenge, especially if you're new to the dark web. But don't worry, because in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to find working onion links easily. Also, if at any point you'd like to try the VPNs mentioned in this video, you can check the updated pricing, discounts, and the latest coupon codes in the description below. The first step to accessing the dark web is to download the Tor browser. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems, and you can download it from the official Tor project website. Once you've downloaded and installed the browser, go ahead and open it up. After that, use the search engines to find onion links. There are several search engines that can help you, and the most popular ones are Torch, Amia, and Not Evil. These search engines are designed to search the dark web, and they provide a list of onion links that are working at the time of the search. But it is worth noting that these search engines may not be able to find all onion links, and some may not be up to date. Forums are also a great way to find working onion links. There are several dark web forums that users share links to their favorite websites. And popular dark web forums such as Dread, Dark Market, and The Hub are usually password protected, so you'll need to create an account to access them. Once you're in, you can browse through their forums and look for links to websites that might interest you. However, it's important to exercise caution when using forums, as some of them may contain dangerous or malicious content. Now, believe it or not, there are social media platforms specifically on the dark web too. For example, platforms like Galaxy 3 and The Hub allow users to share links to their favorite websites. You can also join specific groups and communities to find onion links to websites that interest you. Another way to find working onion links is through link directories, which are websites that have a list of onion links. They're similar to search engines, but they're more organized. Some popular link directories include Onion Link, Onion Deer, and The Hidden Wiki. And these directories categorize onion links based on their type, such as marketplaces, forums, and social media platforms, which makes it easier for you to find links to websites that interest you. However, it's important to note that not all link directories are safe and some may contain links to malicious websites, like I said before. And that's it. As you can see, it's not that difficult once you know where to look. So overall, finding working onion links might be a little bit of a challenge, but it's really, really not impossible. By following the steps I've explained, you can easily find links to websites that might interest you on the dark web. But it's also important to exercise caution when using the dark web, as it can be a dangerous place. Always be mindful of the risks involved and take necessary precautions to protect your privacy and your security. And while using Tor can help protect your privacy and anonymity, it's also a good idea to use a VPN for additional security. However, not all VPNs are good for opening onion links, so you'll need a reliable one. And here I'll give you some of my recommendations for reliable VPNs. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN. And Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. 
It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is the ideal choice for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions. Features such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's going to be it for this video. Again, if you're interested in these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or you'd like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.